What's up ladies and gentlemen, Spade here and welcome back to some more of a summer fall. It's been about four minutes since the last episode. It is still July 8th and the time right now is 8.47 a.m. And with that said, let's just continue. Last time we found out and figured out who the real killer is. So yeah. We know who it is now. It's a Dotsy. Yeah, and that figures. We gotta go to bed. A lot has happened today. It would be best to go to sleep early and get ready to go after the real culprit sleep. Teddy? This... It seems that you've come to the velvet room in your dreams again. But something is different this time. You don't see Eagle or Margaret. Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? Sensei? Why are you here? I was going to ask you the same thing, Teddy. I could ask you the same. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. Everyone's worried. How did you get here? Just a shadow? Everyone's worried, Teddy. You're always so kind, Sensei. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. You did? So you heard the noise of the velvet room limousine then? Then I was here. I see. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities.
so he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. Tell you. <laughs> I really am stupid. Don't say that, Tony. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered what I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh yeah, Sensei. One day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Tell her, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her, I'm really sorry. You saved her, Tyler. Nanako is alive, Tyler. Huh? No, really? You told Teddy how. You told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Not a chance. Wow, that's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. Feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. That's so, Tilly. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Sort of, I guess. Something like that. Aha. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. I have no idea, Tyler. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Let's move on. Together, Tyler. What? I don't know what to look for, or how to find it. So? No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. I'm with you there, Tyler. There's a lot I still don't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. Same here, Teddy. You can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude. And we are done with Teddy's saucer link.
But I have to get going. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. You're welcome back anytime, Teddy. Goodbye, Sensei. Hey, Eagle, Margaret. Before you knew it, before you know it, Teddy is gone and Eagle and Margaret are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. Seems so. Seems so, Eagle. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, -hmm. very interesting. Ego has a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. I suppose so, Ego. See you around then. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. And we're moving once again. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. Same here, Eagle. We'll be waiting for your next visit. See you too later, then. And that was 14 and a half minutes. <laughs> we haven't even left the house yet. Do you know this electronics department? How did it go? Did you find Teddy? Sort of? Uh, you're talking to us here. No, no one's seen him either. turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. this fog is it's gotten even worse than before what the there's this malicious aura everywhere it feels completely different from the last time I was here I think we'd better hurry give me a sec to try finding a dachi Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? I 
glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. Really? I wonder what's going to happen. Him. The Dachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear, anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? This place... Huh. I see. came back but it really doesn't matter I'm completely useless Nana John I'm so sorry Teddy it is you Teddy I heard... your voice. You said... hang in there. I heard... my big bro... and... everyone else, too. <laughs> Nana-chan! Hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um... Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And theirs too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown, too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now, too. I... 
I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Teddy's strong will that allowed him to appeal and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Teddy's persona has been reborn. Kentucky Do Kentucky Doji has transformed into Kamoi? Kamoi? I'm probably not saying that right. I'd have to hear Terry say it. Don't know how you say it. Right. I need to get back to the others. Hang in there, Nana chan. I'll be back soon. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Risechan. Only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense. It's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Hmm. Is Naoto's model actually wearing the glasses? I'm not sure. Guess the portrait's not, but everybody else is. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Uh, I'm not sure. I have to see that. In my recording later or something. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end. I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. Teddy? Teddy. You little... where the hell were you? I'm sorry. Nice seeing you again, Teddy. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> Um, 
say, John? Are you faking? No, stupid. Safe to say, she missed him the most. You dumb bear! Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. You listen to Teddy's confusing, silent he since he finally understands who he really is. That he was only a son and that Though he was at his wit's end, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yep. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? Wh what are you saying? Here I am, pouring my heart out to you, and you say you thought I was something like that anyway? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. So what's the problem with being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way. But you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow, then, that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow, or the shadow awakens to its ego. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. human then I'm the same as humans you keep trying to figure out who you are just like all of us here you can't do much on your own you really aren't that special see what's so different between you and us Ha ha ha! 
The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? Pretty much. You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? Everyone at this table. Isn't that just you, Senpai? Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. Gee, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. Hell no. Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. Alright, now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy. You've taken another step towards the truth. Since you will start first again tomorrow, each of you decide to go home for today. And with that said, we are going to call it here. So till next time, stay golden.